Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about uh, just news that came out about the Venom sequel not too long ago. And uh, what's really neat about all this information is that some of it we did speculate before. I was curious if Ruben Fleischer was going to be coming back. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos around Christmas or right before Christmas. And uh, and I wasn't sure. I was like, you know, it, the, the schedule is really tight for a director to go from, you know, Zombieland 2 and then going into post-production and working on that movie until its release and then going on the junkets and touring, you know, and, and uh, you know, screenings and all that stuff and then still squeeze in and jump over to film Venom and, you know, and not be part part of pre-production in a lot of ways because he'll be too really busy with post-production and I'm not saying it's not possible to do both it's just a lot of you know work to do that and I think if anyone can do it it's definitely Ruben Fleischer uh, but we don't know for sure so as of right now we don't know if Ruben is coming back to direct the sequel of uh, Venom versus Carnage which I'm that's what I'm going to call it for now until I see an official title uh, because I think that's you know a pretty good title actually um, so it, I don't know it reminds me of like Freddy versus Jason or like Alien vs. Predator, although Alien vs. Predator is kind of a bad movie, in my opinion. But Freddy vs. Jason was a lot of fun. It was just like two monsters fighting each other. And, uh, and it's like King Kong vs. Godzilla kind of has like that kind of weight to it, I feel. And plus, a lot of people, I think, want to see Carnage on screen. And I'm so glad this first movie did so well, uh, because now we are going to get Carnage on screen, played by Woody Harrelson. So this is very exciting. Um, so again, you know, we don't know if Ruben's coming back. I really hope he does. That would be amazing. Uh, but we do know that Kelly Marcel is going to come back. And she was the writer of the movie, uh, one of the later additions to the writing team, because I believe the first two drafts were written by two other gentlemen, and then Will Beal was credited, and I don't know how much of the movie he did. We talked about that in previous episodes, uh, but obviously movies are a collaborative effort. A lot of people work on them. A lot of times multiple writers are coming on, but Kelly, I believe, was the one that was actually on set. And sometimes this happens in movie making where, you know, a producer or someone will want a writer on set in case they need to change, like, some dialogue in a scene or come up with something new on the spot or, you know, or just bounce ideas off each other um, this is typical to happen sometimes and I think even on Iron Man 1 they had a writer on set and they were like rewriting things on the day you know of you know scenes on the day before they filmed um, and getting new pages out before you know so everyone can learn the lines and then go to film so sometimes movies are a chaotic experience like that but it's everyone working really well being professional working together to make it happen and come to life um, obviously I've talked about that numerous times on the channel before how a movie is not made by one person I, I love that line we mentioned it here before by Joel Schumacher where he says if a movie's bad in his opinion and it's just one I agree with he said if a movie's bad it's the director's fault if a movie's good, it's everyone's fault. And that was Joel Schumacher taking complete blame uh, in his eyes uh, for the Batman and Robin movie and saying, look, I had a great script. I had a great team. I had great everything, great actors. It was my my vision that dropped the ball in the movie, and I take full responsibility for that. And uh, and that's big of him to do that because I don't see a lot of people do that nowadays. Uh, but ever since that line, we've always said numerous times on this show that movies are a collaborative effort. Um, but... Kelly was brought in, I think, by uh, by Tom Hardy as he was the producer of uh, Venom, and she came in and I think was working with him on set. And the reason I'm saying that, and I don't know for sure to what capacity, obviously, but the reason I'm saying that is because he shared pictures of her on his Instagram account numerous times calling her a legend and then showing her and him on set brainstorming ideas, sitting next to each other, looking at the script, talking to each other. So I imagine that she was brought in, um, you know, to, you know, she did like Fifty Shades of Grey and she's written some other stuff uh, for various movie companies. And she's, I think she had a, a script on the blacklist, I believe. So she was really well sought out. And I think she came in and helped work out some of these character stuff with Tom Hardy. Um, and again, some of that speculation, but from his Instagram, it looks like they worked really well together and that he had, you know, uh, he very much respected her. And so it looks like Kelly is coming back to be the writer of Venom 2 and maybe even the sole writer, which I think would help the movie can, you know, keep a stronger narrative. I feel like with four voices on that first movie, on that first script, made the movie feel a little jumbled in some areas. You saw my criticism. Um, I still gave the movie a 7 out of 10, but I did have some criticisms about some of the pacing and things of the movie and some of the dialogue. But again, uh, you know, it's, I'm not blaming anyone for that. Again, it's just my opinion. Other people will think differently than me. Uh, but uh, but Kelly, you know, it, it seemed that she had a good working relationship with Tom, and it looks like Tom wants her back. So she's been, you know, hired to come back and write the script for the second one. And I hope she's the only writer. If they bring someone in to do a couple of punch-ups or rewrites, you know, I guess that, that's pretty normal. Uh, but uh, it seems like Tom really had faith in her so I'd love to see what she can do on her own and I'd love to see her kick butt on uh, on the sequel of this movie so yeah I'm very excited to see 
what else you know comes out what other news comes out i know sony is moving forward with this you know we talked about that before they announced those two dates we were like okay one of them is morbius the other one has to be venom of course the other one's going to be venom it's going to come out october of 2021 and uh, that's a great time zone for this movie. It dominated October this last time. And I think with Carnage, I hope it could break that billion dollar marker. How crazy would that be if Venom versus Carnage the movie or Venom 2, whatever they call it, actually breaks a billion dollars at the box office? Uh, that would be amazing because I feel like the first movie, what he lacked a little bit was a really solid villain. Although I like Riz Ahmed normally. Uh, the character of Riot really didn't, you know, uh, hit with me as far as motivation and things go. Uh, but uh, I do like Carnage, and I like that he's kind of the the Joker, you know, to Venom's Batman in a way. He's chaos. He just wants, you know, mayhem. And I would love to see how they portray that in the movie and how Venom has to deal with somebody who's legitimately crazy but as powerful as him. Um, that's going to be really fun. So I hope Kelly Marcel knocks it out of the park. I would love to see Ruben Fleischer come back, but if not, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, who would you like to see? direct the sequel do you have a you know, recommendation someone a movie you saw that you think that director would fit for venom and carnage uh, what kind of tone do you want the movie to be do, would you like it to kind of continue the comedy horror aspect that the first movie did or would you like to see something way more serious i'd love to hear your thoughts down below and we'll continue the conversation down there thank you all so much for being patient with me while i've been sick and going through a lot of stuff uh, i'll be going back to work soon uh, i took a couple days off this past week uh, but now i'm you know rested up and i'm ready to go i got my new setup back here hopefully you guys like it and we will have more videos coming to you very soon thanks so much for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace